because I'm a human being, I'm a Nigerian. I hear what people say everywhere. But uh, being somebody who has been around for a long time, this has always been the, the song. We hear all these things. Uh, we hear all these things whenever there is a change of government. Uh, whenever there is a change of government, naturally, you have uh, complaints here and there. But they are not new complaints. When Jonathan came on board first uh, in 2011, uh, we, he, he, we thought he was going to do well. And he started very well. Okay. Uh, along with the way, somehow he drilled. And he also told us uh, to tell people including Obasanjo at a meeting, that uh, we could say he was going to spend only one term, which means with the one year he completed for uh, Omar Eradua, he was going to add another four uh, to complete Eradua's uh, time. So that was what we carried to everywhere we went, north and south. And I led the team throughout. Uh, there was no state we didn't visit. Okay. Not one. We visited, we spent at least one day okay. in that state. And uh, we reported what people said. And we were full of confidence that uh, Jonathan was going to win. Because when he won, uh, first uh, he won the primary against uh, Atiku. Atiku, and then of course the election again against uh, Buhari. We thought he was going to do well, and he started very well to be candid. But somehow he went astray. He was being advised by people whether or not uh, he does well, he, he, he sure to win again because he was already a president. It's difficult for a sitting president to lose an election. Uh, then, of course, some people are alighting about the North. And uh, I was uh, told, not that I, I, I was sure, but I was told that uh, Jonathan was told that uh, for the North, just bring money out, they will follow you. <laughs> and uh, for the South, we, we also told them that uh, he was going to add only one term to the time he's already spent. But uh, his people, finally the, the Jews, told him that first he must never think of leaving that office after one term. Mm. There are some people who are threatening to kill him mm. and so on, if I told he, he should uh, leave after one term. So more or less, as I heard, uh, he was a reluctant uh, candidate in 2015. Okay, so that was why he lost? Well, I don't know. I was away. I was not involved in the 2015 election. Okay. Nowhere near the, 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 uh, the election. I was not uh, invited to come for any meeting for the election after 2011. I didn't know why. Well, we knew there were some of his ministers that were doing anything they liked. As I always say, his minister of petroleum had gone astray, uh, taking money here and there, doing whatever she liked. There were complaints about the missing 20 billion in the central bank. Uh, 
they, uh, she was worried, she knew the money was, some money was missing. So they got uh, one of the senators, the chancellor in charge of uh, finance, uh, to go and uh, make sure that that report of missing 20 billion is wrong. Mm. Uh, that uh, uh, he got his figures wrong. Okay. So I, w I was just surprised how the central bank governor could be, could be wrong. Somebody who, okay. who was keeping the money mm. uh, was told that he was wrong. Mm. Somehow that's how the government went astray to okay. the extent that even the governor himself, the governor of central bank, was about to be sacked Sir. when he ran away. Ran he left <laughs> the office, he abandoned his office and left. They were about to seize his passport and so on. Mm. Uh, I cannot go uh, astray and leave the general populace that uh, there is security in Nigeria today. There is very little security. Mm. For instance, I can go to Kaduna mm. as often as I want. I'm always in Abuja. Uh, and uh, all the number of kidnappings taking place mm. and so on. Well, you know, it's not the government as such that is causing all this kidnapping, it's greed. Greed? Greed from our youth. Mm. It is the youth. Mm. And the fact that, uh, according to authentic report, even the security personnel are involved in all this kidnapping. Uh, because it's, it's a profitable venture. It, uh, now it's difficult to make money. So the easiest way to make money is to kidnap. You can make millions or billions if you're an organized kidnapper. So when you say authentic report, is it coming from the presidency or from the diplomatic cycle? No, 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 no. no. The president will not say that. He also says he confirms that there is more insecurity now. People do it. He also confirmed there is uh, more poverty now. Mm. But, uh, and I know there is more poverty now. Mm. Uh, there is also uh, more insecurity now. There is no question about that. But it's not the doing or the making of the presidency okay. or the government. Okay. They are not the ones Called the insecurity or this the issue of, of uh, insecurity is caused by greedy people among mm. us, the youth in particular, mm. uh, as uh, confirmed by the number of uh, uh, kidnappers, uh, arrested. Count, arrested, caught. Uh, you can see there are many more around, mm. um, but the security people now are. They are doing, they are working hard, they are, they are capturing a few. Well, I don't know. Uh, I, Jonathan never discussed with me what he would offer me after the election. Okay, okay. All that I know, I told him I was going back to my station, which is London. London. And uh, it, because he knew he was not the one who gave me London in the first place. <laughs> okay. It was Eradua, so I said I was going back. Going back. He invited me and the vice president then okay. to his office. Madison. We, yeah, we sat down. He thanked me again and again. And uh, he gave me some money, uh, you know, about 10,000 pounds or so. Mm. Uh, and I left for, for London. Okay. No contact again. Nobody ever contacted me about how the cabinet was going to be made, made okay. how, how, whether or not I would be considered. Nobody. So Nobody. You, so you the only you person, the only person who came to tell me something about the decision of uh, Jonathan 
but I don't know whether it was true or not, was uh, Senator David Mark, then Senate President. Okay. He used to come to London often. When he came one time, he said, ah, leader, you know, because I was his majority yeah. leader. He said, leader, I thought, I thought uh, it was decided that you are going to be given the position of Minister of Defense. Okay. I said, nobody told me anything about it. Mm. And, but uh, I'm not a greedy man. I never look for an office. Mm. I never hustle for an office. And I'm satisfied with what I have now. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, it's the convention, it's the general. You could see the general Buhari, or President Buhari, the uh, director general, is from the south. Oh, okay. Isn't it? Yeah. That is the Vogue. Uh, you, you are in. Uh, Obasanjo time is what Adamo Chiroma, uh, uh, who was basically the director general. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Joaquin Jonathan I was made the director general the first time. Okay. The second time, of course, maybe I didn't do well. Yeah. The second time, but at least uh, we won the election. <laughs> uh, nobody contacted me. Oh, okay. They put some other people there. Mm. which was all right. The candid opinion, my own honest opinion, he didn't do well. Wow. He was a bit sectional. Mm. That's my, my own observation. Mm. How could he forget somebody from the north yes. who left his job to come and work for him? Just suddenly like that, he must, there must be somebody from his own kitchen cabin who said, no, ignore him. He already had a job. Mm. Otherwise, uh, I, I'm surprised. And uh, many other things. Mm. Mm. If you notice also all those who were major ministers, yes. people who could do whatever they like in their ministries, yes. were from the south. Yes. You can see like Ngozi, yes. he was uh, more powerful than even, than even the, 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 the vice president because he was the coordinating minister of the economy and minister of finance. So she was running everything. Yes. She, in, in some cases, she would be more powerful than even the president himself. Yes. Then, of course, the minister of uh, petroleum would only remit whatever she wanted uh, to, the, to, to, to the central bank um, from the sale of uh, crude. crude and so on. So you could see how powerful these people have become. You cannot name one person, not one from the north who is so powerful. Think of the, also the 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 sector to government from the south again okay. uh, my colleague my colleague uh, former senate president uh i am pious i am he was very powerful so so uh, anybody who who runs a government along uh, section and lines i think may not will not succeed But you know, I can't blame him much because he was, he's a young man. He didn't have much experience. I remember during my, uh, my Sunday party to which he attended, one of my comments was that uh, we hope uh, he is going to be, to be somebody who doesn't care about his tribe because he's come from a minute tribe in terms of size and therefore he was uh, I'm sure going to do very well and so on that was what I said mm. and uh, but that didn't work the way I expected mm. Jonathan didn't have problem with his uh, with Namadi Sambo they, they worked very well together okay. although you hear some rumors but they worked very well 
together. Mm. There was nothing that he was not involved. There were, you would not hear any rumor in the, on the other side, that is the side of the presidency, about uh, the, the vice president. Uh, so that worked well for them. I don't know what clicked well. Okay. Uh, and uh, even now, I think the issue of uh, the president, uh, Buhari, yes. and uh, Vice President Osibanjo, I think it's being exaggerated. Oh, okay. What they said, what they said, when the president was away yes. to London on sick, in, on sick bed, the, the vice president or people around him made sure that he has a retinue of security and advisors around him as much as a president, oh, okay. if not more. Mm. So, so in one, the president maybe thought, I don't know, I'm just saying, mm. thought he, that this thing was going to be reduced naturally. When he came back, he was well and so on. But that was not reduced. Ooh. And uh, that was why he felt uh, that should be formally reduced. But some people talk of his mentor, the mentor of the vice president, yes. who brought him into the... As Tinubu? Yeah, Tinubu. They say he was the one responsible. I'm not too sure. It's, full, it's a foolish thing. What how will he gain? What way will he gain mm. uh, the removal of a vice president mm. uh, for him to, to come in? Mm. I don't think so. But if it is so, it's stupid. It's a foolish... Mm. It is a foolish uh, uh, approach mm. to, to power, power wrestling. Mm. Well, you know, this issue of uh, rotation yes. uh, is something that uh, came on board. Maybe they, it was brought in by PDP and so on. Mm. APC or those, uh, those parties that came together to 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 form APC mm. were not interested in zoning. Yeah, you could see the Buhari contested three times, and he comes from the north. Mm. Okay. He never bothered about what PDP was doing. Yes, so. For, for people to start accusing the North, well, after all, the North can do whatever they like. Mm -hmm. Politics, according to the, the famous uh, politicians, yeah. they say politics is the game of number. Yes. If you think you have the number, you can win. why not? That's true. Uh, but uh, you have... Uh, a disadvantage, yes. disadvantage of uh, l lower in in education, mm. poorer in whatever sense <laughs> you look at it. If you want to have power again and again, there is nothing wrong with that. To me, there is nothing wrong with that. Uh, if it were playing politics, yes. But if we are playing appointments, yes, yes, we can go the way the North should go uh, at the end of uh, this this tenure. If, if you are from the North, I appoint you. What will you add to the North? We want to see some project, uh, you know, like we are seeing in the, the Southwest oh, that part of the and the Southeast. And so, and you say the South is benefiting more under the current by, by far, by far, by far. You check. It's only you see Northern appointed, but what does that mean? Mm. They have no power to to approve a, a project or something. They just they have power to 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 fill in their pockets. That's all. I don't think uh, I am one of those who, uh, who believe in giving it to a state, as I said earlier on.
Sir? It is not an appointment. Okay. You know, I said it earlier. Yes. It is not an appointment. More so when the Southeast yes. has not been with the mainstream politics. Mm -hmm. How can you think of uh, taking to the Southeast? So it is always good to oppose something and keep crying that you are marginalized. In the end, you will be given. Yes, that's true. Uh, the, the, the Southeast has not been in the mainstream of politics, in spite of the effort mm -hmm. made by uh, Rochers, Governor Rochers or Senator Rochers. Okay. Uh, he made effort to make sure that the Southeast come into the mainstream of politics, politics. But they did not. It is the only part of the country where the president, that's Buhari, yes. got 10,000 votes in a state. Mm. Uh, you know, the last election, yes. 2019. And uh, I thought it is an, a zone that is not ready to work with anybody except to work with itself. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Only when it is there, that it will work with, with, with there. Yeah. Mm. One Omar Eradua died in 2010. 5th of May. Yeah, 5th of May. Ideally, if we think the no it was the turn of the north yes. in a civilized world. Jonathan should just spend one year to complete to complete the the, the office he was in because the constitution gave him the right to do so. Okay, and shift aside. And shift step aside. But uh, it wasn't so. So it is true. But not only that's like you supported I supported him because also I have my own reason for supporting. And what was the reason? Sir? My reason is simple. When you are in the first republic, yes. the West was on its own. Most part of the East was on its own. Okay. I gave the reason why I left PDP. A PDP lost their PDP became a party for people with money, yeah. however young, however crude, however criminal you may be, when you come in, you have money, <laughs> you, just... you are a big man. Okay. And people like us, even though we served the country for nearly 46 years, we didn't have that money to go into a party that uh, believe in that. Now, uh, Buhari, why I am a bit sympathetic with him is because we know each other since we were both young. Uh, I know him as a very young officer, a second lieutenant, and uh, we were amazed and I'm a bit older, older at least by two years. So, and we come from the same state then. Yeah. Uh, Kaduna State. Okay. Uh, that included Katsina. Yeah. So we knew each other very well. Bahari came in as the head of state. Uh, in uh, 31st, on 31st December 1983. 83, okay. 83, December 31st. We met, of course, we knew each other very well. Yes. Yeah. He felt he was he was very friendly with me, mm. and he met me in in the state house. I went to see him. He wasn't bothered for me to stay, but when I said I felt I should leave, I should be given another job. He gave me another job, and uh, I got him another doctor to work in my place. Mm. So you can see. Uh, the closeness was really much. Yeah, yeah. So you can see we knew each other for a long yeah, time. Yeah, the, uh, the closeness uh, was really much. So I, I, was, I was bad, of course. I felt bad because I was very close to Buhari. And up till now, even though 
Shagari is dead. Shagari was one of the most honest Nigerians, Nigerians that lived. Yeah. He, he died a poor man. Yeah. He didn't have much money. Okay, sir. He, he, he was just managing himself. Managing himself. himself. Mm. I would still ask him, tell him what I hear people say. I say, Mr. President, people are complaining that um, you are making your chief of staff very powerful. And it, I think uh, we who knew it right from the beginning yes. is not so. Although maybe as the president you can make anybody, you can make a laborer the most powerful person in your government. Mm. <laughs> but I think uh, a minister, however uh, small his ministry is, should not be under the the control of a chief of staff, just oh. an appointed person. Oh, okay. okay. To me, I, I don't believe in what, what he, he's done there. Oh, okay. And uh, of course, I'll tell him also, sometimes, you know, when you are in office, you don't so much hear what people say. People say yeah. I would say people are still complaining about insecurity that uh, the military people who put there, the heads of the military are there for too long. It has never happened in any government mm -hmm. of Nigeria. Not that they are doing anything new. They have been there and they have been kept there. Mm -hmm. And some military people talk, complain at one time that uh, they are retarding the progress of uh, military people, mm. military that includes Air Force, Navy, mm. uh, that no promotion mm. for those people. And those who are to be promoted last year are just being promoted this year. Mm. All these things just because of poor people, mm. I think uh, it's not fair mm. to d retard the progress of the, of, of the, of the, of the younger generation of the military. My high point, when I got there, first of all, I was not, I'm not a career diplomat, diplomat mm. but I have a lot of experience in my own way because I have been a civil servant up to mm. the highest level, up to the palm sec, so I know how to run people. So when I got there, I made sure I wanted to make use of the people I find there. Mm. And I know the bad things and the good things. Yes. Because I, my eyes could see. Mm. So I sat down. First, we must have the resources. I was able to get the, some resources. Mm. Then we must have the people to do, the correct people to do the jobs all over, whether it's structural, whether administrative or whatever. And we got the people to do this. Mm. And uh, I am quite pleased to say that I am also the longest serving High Commissioner okay. in UK. We did the best. There is no structure yeah. belonging to the embassy that we did not touch. We did not renovate. There is nothing. We also structured the immigration section of the ministry to the extent that even the Ministry of the Interior mm. were going to follow the sample, the sample of what we are doing. Mm. I know of us, General Obasanjo was there, he was amazed at what we were able to do, what we were able to achieve. Mm -hmm. There was a day we were able to attend out to 400 Nigerians, Nigerians mm -hmm. in terms of passport and visa. Mm -hmm. And we made sure that my eyes were on that stuff because it's the, main, it's the very volatile part of the embassy. Yes. Uh, 
my eyes were on that section almost every day. Mm. I could see them on my laptop, could see what each section was doing mm. and so on. Uh, and I was also lucky to get um, an officer from the immigration now promoted to uh, assistant controller general, one Amino. Uh, he, he, he was an honest man, mm. very honest. I put a lot of traps on his way to see whether he, was, he would be involved in <laughs> what was happening. But I never succeeded in capturing him. Uh, but uh, my own trap, the trap I put one day, mm. caught somebody. Uh. And that somebody was returned home. Mm. Uh, for trying to do something, giving a passport. Collected money? Of course, we, by giving a passport, we would not follow in the normal process. Okay. You know, you can get, a, you must pay online mm. to get a passport and go follow through the process. And you are process. circumventing the normal process? Uh, no, you not circumventing. If it's just circumventing, I'm doing the process properly. Mm. He was not paying mm -hmm. and the fellow was was to be given a passport mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, because he was conniving with people that uh, this uh, with on the server here oh, at home okay. you know yeah. yeah so so i was able to catch him and send him home, send him home. <laughs> and so i did so many things See. that i felt i'm satisfied and if you go to london today and ask who is the best high commissioner I ever had, whether old or, or young, yes. they will tell you their own opinion. Wow. And I was also very, I think, innovative. Mm. The diaspora, the associations of Nigerians in the UK yes. were my, part, my partners mm. in progress. Mm. We took decisions with them. Mm. All the, the renovations, all the amendments we made, all the services we rendered, yes. we did uh, in partnership with, with them. them. Okay. Mm. So I'm satisfied with what yes. I did in UK. Okay. There was never, as far as I know, a complaint either in the newspapers or television about what we did mm -hmm. in London. You know, let me tell you one thing about again the weakness of governments in Nigeria. Whether the government in Nigeria was talking to the UK government or not, we did not know. Mm. We were only getting sometimes information from the embassy of UK here in Nigeria. Huh? And that is upside down. Mm. And uh, so we, when last time Jonathan was complaining that UK gave, uh, they did not give anything, also, so, 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 we didn't know. Mm. We cannot defend him and uh, because he, we were not involved. Well, that's why, that's why my, what I, my comment initially yes. is what uh, brought this about. Yes. If we were involved, for instance, please, the so, 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 the government, or oh, this is a letter mm. we have written, or the president has written, please take it to the ministry, uh, they call Foreign and Commonwealth Office. Uh, that, of course, is meant for the Prime Minister. Mm. We, it was never done. They usually did it upside down. Mm. They would usually give the letter if there was any. So you could see the man who was here said there was nothing, no authority. And there we didn't see anything. Mm.
I hope you understand mm. my comment. Yeah. So that is that is my there was one a of protocol. Totally, totally. Yeah. You know, some some leaders think a white man is everything. Mm. So they, whatever he says, why are you going to approach him? Maybe you begin to kneel down yeah. before you get to him. But unfortunately, that was what happened. Well, as you know, you are in that time. I was the majority leader. Yes. Naturally, I was also the leader of the party in the Senate. Yes. And uh, obviously, the party, the party, the PDP, yes, approached us, approached me, and and they told me what they wanted. And uh, we, we, I started, we started to sense the views of senators. We realized that most of the senators were not in tune with that idea. Mm. But we said, let's amend the constitution. Mm. Let amend the more simple, more sense, less controversial aspect of, it. Of, of the constitution. Somehow. We took that decision, the leadership of the Senate and the House of Re but the presidency said no, they want us to amend everything at the same time. <laughs> we said it is not going to work, mm. it's not easy, but somehow the president had uh, his own advisors okay. in terms of legal. Yeah. We we were there. We also had our own advisors. Uh, we insisted that we wanted to go step by step, taking the non-controversial mm. part of the amendment to pass yeah. and forget about tenwa elongation. Okay. But it was not agreed, mm. and uh, so we we started and. Uh, it didn't go fly at all. It didn't even leave the ground. Well, m maybe we would have gotten something out of the uh, Constitution amendment. amendment. Okay, but not we, for third term. Not for the aspect of the third term. Because our aim was to look at those areas that were being amended by the National Assembly after us uh, without the third term. Mm. But it wasn't agreed the power of the National Assembly mm -hmm. and we were more or less forced to take the constitutional amendment, the whole of it, mm -hmm. which is a book in mm -hmm. itself, uh, but it didn't fly. Well, I wouldn't know I had because, you know, uh, I, I, no, I, I was the leader okay. of the Senate. The normally the presidency had his own contact oh, in, in, the, in, the, in the Senate, both chambers, oh, okay. both chambers, not the, the the principal officer or the leader. Okay, there was not the contact or the the, the this thing at all. Mm. But I was told that there was going to be money, and uh, you never uh, received. Nobody gave me any money. This is, uh, Nigeria is a country that is a free nation, can do anything. If you have money, you can fly to Moscow and get treatment. You can fly to UK, wherever, if you have your own money. Yes. It's not medical tourism is not necessarily the government, the officials that are going for medical tourism. Mm. Of course, they also do. Uh, so unless we, we are going to change the, our constitution into, to, into a totalitarian regime, mm. whereby everybody could be barred yes. from traveling abroad for, for medical attention, yes. well, then otherwise we, everybody is free yes. uh, to travel abroad mm. for medical treatment. And it is so even in England, mm. people leave UK to go to America for medical treatment. Yes. 
And that's, that's how it is. People leave England to go to France. Mm. People leave France to go to England for medical because they are free nations. So it's something that is still not... It's not, it's not attainable now. And I don't think even when we reach optimal, uh, uh, optimal development, it cannot happen. People, you cannot stop people from going abroad.